There was more than one way to get the good news out. Besides Bibles that could be read and professors and preachers who could be heard, there was artwork like this that could be seen. This is from Gotha, about 1540. This altarpiece displays the most extensive array of Reformation-style imagery. It has 14 wings on hinges around a fixed center panel. Prominent in that center panel is the crucifixion, the atoning death of Christ. Way at the top are scenes depicting the creation and fall, but most of the artwork here is devoted to telling the story of Jesus. He is shown, for example, as teacher, the teller of parables, a preacher, healer, and miracle worker. The story of Christ from the Gospels was shown in pictures along with words here for all to see. Luther did not want to get free of what God has created. This set him apart from other reforming figures in the 16th century. Their kind of attitude, more from Greek philosophy than from the Bible, led to stripping of art out of churches in an effort to get away from the senses into some supposed realm of the purely spiritual. Luther thought much differently. He noted that Scripture did not forbid images themselves, but rather the worship of images. Furthermore, the Word has become flesh. God's glory is seen in the man Jesus, never more than when He quite visibly hung on the cross. Therefore, Luther thought that not only music, but also visual art held a very important place for Christians, especially for education and edification.